the effect of transcleral diode cyclophotocoagulation using micropulse versus continuous wave on the ciliary body observed in Miyake Apple View. Did you ever wonder what cyclophotocoagulation looks like inside the eye? Or which technique is safer, micropulse or continuous? For this experiment, you need four globes prepared with a Miyake Apple technique. One micropulse diode laser, one transcleral micropulse probe. First, the probe is applied to the retrolimbal conjunctiva and cyclodestruction is observed. This is a Miyake Apple view of micropulse laser. Note, there is no shrinkage of the ciliary processes. In continuous diode mode, you can see contracture of the ciliary processes and the pars planar. In continuous mode with lower energy and longer duration, there is less contracture. This is the same lower energy with even longer duration. And here you see higher energy. This is a comparison of higher and lower energy at the same duration. First, we learned that micropulse is gentle on the ciliary processes. And second, we see that in continuous mode, titrating energy level is more destructive than titrating time. Have you ever heard a pop? We wondered what it looks like inside the eye when the ciliary processes pop. that one again.